Hello, uh, it's Jay. Um, despite falling into a funk, I decided I'll do a freakout instead. I'll do the mid-year freakout book tag, or the mid-year book freakout tag, or whatever the heck it's called. Uh, this was created by two booktubers, uh, Shammy, who is no longer um, around as a booktuber, or I think even on a channel anymore, I'm not quite sure. But uh, the other the other cr creator of the book tag, of this tag, is Ellie at uh, Earl Grey Books. I don't think she's done a version of this tag for this year yet, but uh, yeah, she uh, she is a co-creator of the tag. I know a lot of people credit uh, strictly uh, Shami, but there does seem to be another creator of the tag, and uh, definitely check out her channel. Um, you know, definitely one of these kind of humble workaday booktube booktubers, uh, not one of the uh, gigantic stratosphere folks, but you know, yeah, uh, one of the creators. What's really an institution? Uh, one of these de rigor tags that people do um, on booktube, and I think that we're all all richer for. It's good to stop at about the midway point and go. How has my reading been going? And actually, I'm I'm fairly fairly pleased with it. Um, all told, thank goodness for Goodreads. Ah, oh, thank goodness for Goodreads, because that's the only way I would be able to actually do this tag and uh, with any efficiency and look back at, well, what did I read this year? Because sometimes I completely forget. So let's do the prompts uh, in a prompt fashion. Uh, the best book you've read so far this year. There are a number of... <laughs> talking about being prompt. There's a number of things that I could pick out for this. Uh, there's Inferno by Eileen Miles. Their poet's novel, which is sort of, is definitely a version of autofiction, which I really enjoyed. Definitely a poet's novel in its very kind of circling, circling, circling kind of structure. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be, that would be one choice. Uh, a Royal Experiment, uh, which is a biography of the private life of King George III, uh, the one that the Americans uh, uh, revolted against, uh, who who tried to, and it's very much about his family, and try, the, the royal experiment, it was trying to actually put forward a model, a model family uh, as, a, um, as, a, as an example to the subjects versus I'm going to be your absolute ruler, I'm going to be a model, and how well that goes, and... Uh, yeah, it, it goes wrong in very interesting ways, and Janice Hadlow uh, does an amazing job of 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 kind of del delineating all the stuff that goes wrong in what to me is very much almost a kind of a a thing of how as a culture we like to hold up people as examples, and that can be media celebrities, that can be uh, venerating people of power or wealth. And this is an early example of that happening um, because we have such a good documentation of it because everybody was watching this family and uh, how how it went. Um, another one would be The Strangers by uh, Katharina Vermet, a Canadian uh, Métis author. Uh, this is a this is a continuation of her novel The Break, uh, which was one of my favorite book reads of I think last year. Um, the Strangers continues. Uh, it's four generations of Métis women uh, in uh, sort of win in Winnipeg, and it's a book that really shook me. And uh, both 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 books really dig your claws in. And if you've read the break, get to the straight get to the Strangers. Uh, the Strangers is the family. The Strangers, yeah, get to, get to this book because it is just it's 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 a tough book. It is not a it, it, but it's exhilaratingly tough, exhilaratingly tough in its in its stuff. Um, I really enjoyed Astra by uh, Cedar Bowers, uh, another Canadian author, uh, and uh, that is a book where the central figure is Astra, and the story is told through various chapters of other people that sh whose lives she's kind of careens through, and it gives a very kind of fulsome portrait of. Someone who you think at the beginning might be kind of a monster and by the end is develops into kind of a full person, whether she's still got, you know, however you feel about Astra at the end. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that was that was a really, really interesting, really cool book. Uh, and finally, probably Dragman by Stephen uh, Appleby. She is a trans woman. Uh, this is a graphic novel where uh, the, the main character uh, discovers when he when they put on women's clothing, 
they gain superpowers, they the ability to fly, and it's sort of a superhero origin story, but it's also dealing with um, um, how, um, especially, um, probably even now, but uh, especially kind of earlier, um, like I think of like 80s or 90s, you had to have you had to have a bit of a secret identity to be able to survive as uh, someone who wasn't straight, cis. Per, uh, person uh in uh, this being english society and uh, so it, it's got the superhero combined with uh, a kind of a trans a trans story about kind of the getting getting to accept yourself and also to do the battle against people who do not do not accept you i think yeah yeah so that 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 was all those those ones somewhere in there is the best book i i don't know i don't know what they're the they they're, they're they're they've all got their uh, best parts for it. Uh, number two, the best sequel you've read so far this year. Uh, I've only read a couple of sequels. Uh, Ready Player Two by Ernest Cline definitely was uh, is Ready Player One was the zeitgeist of eighties uh, nostalgia. I was a kid in the eighties, so I was so confused like why is this a YA novel for nostalgia for the eighties? But you know obviously. Ernest Klein hit something there and was wrote it very big for a while until it's kind of crashed down. Ready Player Two is sort of the same thing over again with didn't really particularly is trying to learn, trying to learn, learn maybe some of the mistakes that they made in the in the first one of following too closely to an 80s. Uh, the girl is the reward plot, but eh, doesn't 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 particularly <laughs> succeed. Uh, Gareth L. Powell, I read his Ember of War series uh, in the last while, and that was, um, I have to say, it's a bit of a mistake. It was an experiment of like, oh, instead of reading one book in a trilogy, I'm just going to read all three books in a trilogy. Unfortunately, I picked a trilogy that I didn't like that much, that I thought um, started out okay and then just went down downhill from there. It's a, it's a book that is trying to deal with wrap its arms around the idea of how to deal with deal with peace after there has been war but Gareth L Powell can write a really good silly book but he cannot write a a serious book with you know serious quotations about war uh, he cannot do that he it's it's just all, all he's battling against instincts which he should have talking monkeys his ak ak attack macaque series i i kind of i kind of enjoyed back in the day that's an, an older series from him but that was about a talking monkey who smoked a cigar and and you know got the daring do battles that i think is more much more of a strength this was just, i did not think it succeeded at all so i guess that would probably mean that uh, joe abercrombie's uh, a little hatred which is a start of a new series but is technically a, a follow-up of his grim dark um first law trilogy of you know swords and, swords swords and sorcery and and stuff like that 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 series uh it's 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 a you know i think there's still going to be i feel like you don't you, you a lot of the characters that you love in the first one are aged aged out or or are dead because of the events of of the first trilogy um it's so yeah that would be i guess is is the one but yeah not so great for sequels this this year um number three and number four are because you're you're cutting edge booktuber you would know about the new releases and stuff like that um uh, a new release that i haven't read this year i don't i don't i haven't read this year but you want to for number three i don't really have one most anticipated release for the second half of 22 i can't answer this because i pre-ordered a book about the history of youtube which i still haven't looked up and seen what it's called but it's it's pre-ordered it's going to be coming in i probably heard about it from steve donahue because he's somebody who would know about what's going on what's going on and uh if he hasn't gotten it into his hands immediately he actually wouldn't have read it yet he'll have read everything otherwise um so yeah that would be that whatever that book is i'll have to look it up and 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 put it in in the notes of what the hell that book is um number five the biggest biggest disappointment of this year was probably uh the conjoined by uh jen sofong lee another canadian author uh and actually a cbc broadcaster at one point um uh, and it's one of these books of it's sort of going for being ambiguous literature but it's it was really kind of more of a kind of a thriller that I can take if one thing is unresolved, 
and like, okay, that's the mystery, but everything seemed to be unresolved by the end of this book. Uh, the mystery of the girls that are kind of the, 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 the center thing of the center thing of this isn't resolved. And the, the main character doesn't make a decision about their own life at the end of the book. And I found that very frustrating. And I don't think that was actually intentional on the author's point. I just found the book just unsatisfying uh, by the end. It's like, you need to make a decision. You need to make some decisions here uh, because you're the storyteller. And if you don't make any decisions, it's like, and I mean, a part of that was the point was the character, the main character didn't make any decisions. It's like, <laughs> yeah. So that was my, that was my dis disappointment. I don't have like, oh, I love this author, but they let me down sort of stuff. It's like, no, it's like, I'm reading this book. I'm going along and the book, it just, just that the book disappointed me. So yeah. Um, number six, the biggest surprise this year would be Drag Man by Stephen Appleby. Uh, her book is one that I just discovered on the shelves of um, my local library. That's how I'm reading graphic novels. They're too expensive for me to buy. I don't have any electronic device where I could uh, just, you know, big enough to, to, to put it on. So I, I get them hard. I get the hard copies and I just happened to see drag men on the shelf. And it was like, Oh, there's a, there's, there's a woman flying uh, at, at the top of a, on the top of a building uh, at the top of this book. And it's called drag man. That's, that's an interesting title. Okay. I'll try this. And I was just delighted. So that was my biggest, that was my biggest surprise for the, for the uh, thing, because it was just like one of those, a browse, a, a browse read, which uh, we don't get a lot of nowadays. Uh, a lot of times you have to, you know, I don't go to, I don't visit bookstores a lot uh, anymore. It's more like, oh, I'm flicking online or, uh, you know, I hear about a book from a, a fellow booktuber and that kind of strikes my fancy and I investigate, but I always know something going in. And this one, I didn't know anything. I just like, oh, that's an interesting looking cover. I'll, I'll grab that and read it. And that's, the joy of going to a library. It's like, okay, if I don't like it, I just put it back. It's, I'm not out. I'm not out hard cash or anything like that. Uh, number seven, your favorite new author. I think I will go with Candy Cardi Williams, uh, whose uh, Queenie I read this year. Um, it is a book about a about a young woman who's suffering from uh, seems like kind of an like anxiety disorder and sort of uh, int intimacy intimacy problems about like you know who is she ch choosing as partners who do you think she's worthy of um and it's yeah it's young black woman in london and it was a book that just really kind of transported me to a different a different world a different viewpoint and i uh i really enjoyed that i really enjoyed that i think the book got a lot of criticism because she makes a lot of horrible decisions. She is a very flawed character, but um, I thought that was done. I thought that was done well and in a really engaging way. Um, and it was fair to her. It was fair to Queenie. Um, so I am yeah, looking forward to um, trying another book from uh, Cardi Williams. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for uh, number eight and number nine, I'll kind of put them, put them both together, which is number eight is your newest fictional crush and uh, your newest favorite character. And I'll put that as uh, Zulika from uh, Bernard Ber Evaristo. Ben oh, God damn it. Just pause. Almost had it. Bernadine Evaristo's The Emperor's, The Emperor's, uh, The Emperor's New Babe. Um, the, em the, the Emperor's Babe. The Emperor's New Babe. Getting the, okay, yeah, The Emperor's New Groove. Uh, the, the, yeah, Zulika from The Emperor's Babe. Uh, she is a... Uh, young, another young black woman in London, but this time uh, quite, quite young as the story starts in third century, third century um, AD or BC, Ugh. one of those where the Romans are, Romans are in control of London and the whole book is told in verse and you really get kind of the voice and vibrancy of this London native, black people in London <laughs> this this uh this early it's like this is uh, bernadine evaristo definitely has a project of hi i'm an english person and this is my fucking country fuck off people who maybe don't think that <laughs> um and it, you know um but it's just um it's a great character study of this uh this this young woman uh who wants to be a, who wants to be a poet 
uh, who uh, yeah gets taken up by a uh, by the by an emperor at the time who was also not a white white person whatever white means uh, and white has meant many different things over history um yeah yeah I really really enjoyed I really enjoyed her um her, her voice really shines out through uh, the, the the verse that uh, Bernadine Evaristo tells that story with I have to try some more books by Bernadine Evaristo that's the only one of hers I have read so far um, so yes. So number 10, a book that made you cry this year, that would be The Strangers by Katharina Vermet. I don't know if it made me cry, cry, but it's like, it's a book that shook me that four generations of Métis women in Winnipeg, uh, the continuation, a companion to Vermette's The Break, uh, especially Phoenix, the story of Phoenix in there, but all, all the women, all the women, um, you know, sisters, uh, mother, grandmother, really 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 involving story uh really gets it really just hooked hooked me in so well done so well done i it's one of those things of like i guess i get i mean actually god damn it okay i need to go back because the strangers is technically a sequel <laughs> so i man i read the best sequel this year which is the strangers which is definitely a sequel or a companion to uh to the break but really also stands out on its own uh it is interesting how there's major revelations that happen in the break which reverberate um that that reverberate heavily in the strangers but isn't actually isn't actually spoken it's something just so horrible it isn't even spoken in the strangers uh, which gives it a strangely even more of a power over uh the characters in 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 the strangers it's like oh such such a good book such a good book so yes the book that shook me and the book that's actually the best sequel that i read this year if it's indeed uh, is what you would call a sequel um book that made you happy this year that would be uh crazy in Inact ignaktiev uh the uh ancient love letters and ancient bricks by george harriman it's a collection of sunday of uh, Sunday um, cartoons, big, big broadsheet of the, of the time. This is, uh, was it 1927 to 1928 is where, where it's collecting. And I mean, it's that thing about Sunday, Sunday cartoons. Uh, there's something about uh, memories of, of you'd get them as a kid and you'd settle down and you kind of, you'd read them. And uh, it does actually bring that to it. it. It helps that it's Harriman is doing this kind of strangely kind of surrealistic Arizona ever changing, um, ever-changing vistas in the background um, with this kind of weird love story between uh, this cat and mouse and uh, uh, the, the officer who's trying to break up this masochistic kind of <laughs> love, love triangle, masochistic and sadistic love triangle. It's, it, it is, it is, it is sweet. And it definitely, uh, definitely, definitely makes me smile. Um, number 12, the most beautiful book you've bought or received so far this year. Um, I'll just go with this one. I don't know if I, I, you know, beautiful, beautiful books. I, I, I understand that books are beautiful, but it's just, it's just not really particularly a uh, focus for me. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, number 13, what do you need to read by the end of the year? I would, I need to read books that make me happy, make me cry, shake me, leave me change or in the end will just get me through the year uh these are little books are lifeboats that i i step from one to another and one to another and uh when i step off the final one and sink down that'll be it that'll be it i'll will be done uh as a being on this planet so uh, that's what i need to now those are the those are all the books that i need to read this year whether they're crappy or amazing uh, i i just i need them i need them all <laughs> In, in a very deep way. All right. I've been Jay. This has been the mid-year book freakout tag. Thank you to Shami, wherever you are. And thank you to Ellie at Earl Grey Books for creating this tag. It's a nice, nice little signpost uh, that says, hey, I've made it halfway through 2022. I've been Jay. More videos later.